Bendamustine plus rituximab has the potential to replace standard CHOP chemotherapy plus rituximab in the first-line treatment of advanced lymphomas based on new data presented at the annual meeting of the American Society of Hematology demonstrating a superior progression-free survival and toxicity profile with the bendamustine regimen. Dr. Rummel, is the bendamustine regimen preferred by patients? Yes, some patients um, of all age groups are um, telling me they don't want to be recognized as cancer patients. They want to go on in their daily professional routine. They want to um, have a normal social life and they're expecting it that it is possible even when they get a chemotherapy. And the feedback was with Benamustin, we took some up, that indeed it was possible in um, a vast majority of patients that they can go to their job, to their profession, that they can go to vacation. And um, this, of course, is uh, impaired if you would have been treated with Choplus Rituximab, as every physician knows, there is a higher risk of side effects. So this was a very positive feedback from the patients. And of course, in the end, as a doctor, um, I can agree to this, um, and I can agree giving Bendamustin Rituximab when indeed in the end it is even superior in respect of efficacy. So this gives me a confidence that it is a good treatment recommendation for our patients. You saw a reduction in both hematologic toxicities and also use of GCSF, um, both of which are costly. Could you describe those a little bit for us? Yes, um, so GCSF was described in the study protocol to be used as per official guidelines. And we um, have uh, found out that it was used in only 4% of the cycles treated with bendamustine rituximab and there was given a total of 1,450 cycles. Approximately the same numbers of cycles were given after with Choplus Rituximab, and there it was used in 20% of the cycles. So this, of course, is also very important when you think um, um, in respect of the treatments in a um, uh, pharmacoeconomical way. I'm not an expert in this, but um, very um, um, it, it is uh, laying on the table that it's a very um, big difference by using such a high um, um, percentage of growth factor support for the chemotherapy choplus rituximab. Given that you are not an expert in this area, do you think, however, personally in your opinion, that uh, is this a case in which price will drive adoption of this drug given the added support that's needed with the CHOP chemotherapy that is not needed as often with bendamustine? Yes, um, there will be, I think, some pharmacoeconomical studies in order to compare the costs. Um, uh, it has to be taken in mind also that the median progression free survival is 20 months longer in this um, trial. This means also something, not only for the patient and for the life of the patient, but also from the pharmacoeconomical view. So I think there will be a, uh, also a benefit in terms of this um, thoughts. Thank you, Dr. Rommel. I very much appreciate your time. This is Patrice Wendling reporting from the American Society of Hematology.